Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In today's video, we are starting a new series that is to meet ServiceNow experts. Yes, exclusively on this channel, you will get ServiceNow experts which will provide you some experience, some guidance and how to work in ServiceNow. With this note, let me invite our very first guest, Mr. Ravi Gaurav. Ravi has provided around 700 plus trainings and the way he explained, people love it. I have gone through his videos personally and really these are fantastic. Each and every complex topics are explained in a very good manner. So without any delay, let's welcome him. Hello Ravi, welcome to the channel. Yeah, thanks so much. Thanks, uh, Hopi. So uh, this is Ravi and basically I'm having almost uh, just to seven years experience in service now where okay. I have touched base on most of the modules like ITSM, ITOM. These are the very basic modules. Apart from that, HR modules, uh, software asset management, um, integration. So my expertise in integrations and uh, all on the ITSM and ITOM side. What is your favorite yeah, topic? The, uh, integrations. I can speak integration. a lot on integration. Yeah. Okay. Great. Great. Okay. So, uh, Ravi, what do you think uh, about service now? What is the future of service now? Any idea? Yeah. 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 So, I'll put some light on this. Basically, for the next fifteen to twenty years, service now is not going from the market because okay. of the recent releases like uh, machine learning and AI with service now is itself is implementing towards the system. So. Uh, users don't have to go outside service now. They can leverage the feature of no code, low code, and they can self use the machine learning and artificial intelligence together in service now. So, for the next 20 years, I don't think so. There's any other tool that can beat service now for sure. Okay, great. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, you are seeing service now from Aspen, right? For the very first release? Uh, not from the Aspen, Berlin. Okay, Berlin. Okay, B. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, B. how you see the transformation from Berlin to now Vancouver? Transformation is huge. When ServiceNow was introduced back in 2003 or 4, I don't remember the date, people used to say this as a ticketing tool. Now, also, right. most of the people used to say ticketing tool, but it's way right. beyond it. So, when the okay. first release was happened in ServiceNow in 2013, when they used to start as, uh, from A till Z, English alphabet characters. Uh, the way you see service now is now different. You can click something and you can generate something right away without writing a single piece of a code. Even you can build a catalog without writing a single code. Similar catalog, which is getting used by Amazon, Flipkart, Mintra, whatever. You can do that. So the use difference now and the Vancouver is like uh, best of best, what I can say as of now. What I have studied on the Vancouver version, they have right. integrated a lot of things in the flow designers, so which is superb. So as I said, in the knowledge meeting 2023 happened in Las Vegas, this year only, they are implementing their own chatbot, AI chatbot, similar to ChatGPT, which they will introduce from the Washington release. So it's used. The market is used okay. and the service now is growing. Awesome. Yes. So all the people who are uh, looking to go into service now, working into service now, must be cherished, must be cherished by your comment, right? Uh, correct, so huge correct, market, correct. huge opportunities. Let's uh, start learning, right? Okay. Yep. Great. So uh, Ravi, uh, one thing regarding learning service now. What hmm. do you think is the right approach to learn service now? Whether it's a fresher, whether it's a uh, you know, anyone from other technology. So can you please tell me the right approach? To start with service now, you don't need any kind of prerequisite. You don't you don't want that whether you are from IT background, non-IT background, whether you are working, MCA, BCA, doesn't matter. If you go to a simple website or service now, developer.servicenow.com, and just you have to get your instance, first of all. And once you okay. see the instance, it is very familiar with your Excel sheet. So you have to start thinking in terms of Excel sheet, what you can do on the Excel sheet, because Excel sheet is also a row and column. And ServiceNow is a game of tables. ServiceNow database itself is a table. So you might have heard that uh, 
incident table, problem table, uh, HR case table, a lot of tables are there, correct? So it's right. similar to Excel sheet. If you know Excel sheet, if you play with it, you can easily learn ServiceNow. So ServiceNow is extension of SQL. If a person okay. who has a knowledge on so SQL, like they can do this select star from table incident or something, they can easily write a script also in ServiceNow. So if you ask me from the basics, how we can write approach is to first have your uh, instance ready with you and just okay. think like it's not a tool, it's your Excel sheet where you are manipulating the information. That's it. So that's what the basic idea when you have you start your career with ServiceNow. You have to first make yourself ready in such a way that there is no scripting required. Trust me till admin and even developer part. Just keep in okay. your mind. If somebody is saying that uh, you need JavaScript, I know it's required, but to start with service now, not at all. Right now we are seeing a lot of freshers want to come into service now. Any special hmm. advice for those freshers who are looking uh, into a career in service now, what they should... Uh, you know, start uh, and uh, how about the processes? What is the importance of process in uh, service now learning? ITSM processes yeah. and all. Correct, so, correct. So when this, uh, when for freshers who are college graduate or who are trying to switch their career back to service now, the basic mm -hmm. process they have to understand is what IT is, ITSM. So in your organization, how you can manage your IT assets, IT departments, how you can manage your tickets. In general term, if I if I tell you, you are having a Wi-Fi connection, correct? If what if your Wi-Fi connection goes down right away, you will raise a okay. ticket or you will call the customer representative. So how these are maintained automatically, we are using service now. So okay. you will log a ticket, incident will be created and it will assign to the users. Similarly, for a freshers, they have to first understand why service now is used for. What is the basic purpose of service now? Basically, okay. service now is solving IT, IT solutions. It's giving you IT stuff. And now, if you see other modules, HR, onboarding and offboarding, service now is doing automatically. So, like somebody is joining any organization, you will get a, a automated mail saying that this day is your joining and all those payroll information. All those are maintained under a single umbrella that is your service now HRST module. Similarly, it goes to ITSM, all the IT problems. If the problem related to your incident, assets, PMDB, those all are uh, decided based on service. Okay. So you are saying that uh, things are not new, but the way we yeah. handle it is new in service now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. In, in in the real time also, let's say I'm a fresher and I am using my phone. If my phone is having any issue, so I will obviously go to the help desk. Let's say I'm having an iPhone. I am just calling my Apple support for the service. So what we are doing, we are raising a request and those all requests are managed in a single tool called ServiceNow. Okay. So this is really a big thing for the people who want to switch into ServiceNow. It's not uh, something which is out of our hand. It is very much in reach. You just need yeah. enough uh, confidence and uh, enthusiasm to learn it, right? Yeah, yeah, correct. One more question. Hmm. Uh, like uh, how much time it is required to learn ServiceNow? Uh, so that we will be able to sustain at least in the industry. Yeah, so that's a good question. Basically, everyone wants to know this, how much time will it require? So whenever you are starting a career in any tool or any uh, skill set, whatever, Java, Java, Python, whatever, the basic mm -hmm. is your foundation. That is your okay. pillars. pillars. And the pillar for ServiceNow is your ServiceNow ITSM admin. And it covers almost 80%. Of all the other modules, if you consider, ITSM is one of the 80% and on top of ITSM, other modules are built. If you know okay. basics foundation, you can touch anything. Like you have a pillar of your house, correct? Without pillar, you cannot construct the floors. So right. they right. have to go with ITSM admin. And if you, if I tell you, you need only 30 minutes a day to start with ServiceNow and approximately Service now admin will be completed within 16 days. Okay. 15 days, means half a month. If they give dedicately every day, 30 to one hours each day, from basics till advanced, on admin side, they can cover. And once they cover the admin, they can switch back to development. Another 15 days you can take. So overall, if you ask me, 30 to 35 days is more than enough to sustain and pass any interview in service now. Trust me. Great. On this. Yeah. Great. 
how yeah. easily uh, ravi is explaining the things okay so yeah. ravi what is your experience and uh, about uh, teaching right you are giving training so yeah. what was your experience and how yeah. you come into this training so can you please uh, give some uh, points on that yeah sure so basically uh, i started giving trainings back in 2018 where i was having only my colleagues whom i used to train in the company okay. so okay. yeah so i don't have any teaching background from starting my family is not also having a teaching background but what i feel is when i started my career in service now no word was there to explain me what is happening how to proceed so from that right. time i was i was thinking to why not we share the knowledge if you have a knowledge share it so i started right. this thing back in 2018 then after that uh after getting a good response from colleagues i used to get students from outside who was college graduate so i have given few lectures in my college as well on service now uh, where students got attracted to this low code no code uh, system because most of the students they feel like coding is very tough i know there are 90% right. of student they feel coding is very tough so right. uh back in 2019 20 after, before covid it was like that and after covid uh the service now market has boomed you know that because we are sitting right. at home we are we are doing whatever we want to do with the help of a single tool so after 2020 uh, i start giving online uh classes not in much okay. bigger scale but smaller scale recently in 2023 i thought of making it free for everyone to introduce my youtube channel and uh whatever the content i am bringing in this youtube channel i don't think so that uh, nobody can understand i made in such a way that everyone a person with non it background also can understand so yeah and now i have more than 700 700 plus okay. student which i have trained okay. out of 700 so, okay. 630 are placed oh great that's really great yeah. news Yeah. and you know i have personally gone through your videos and that inspired me to like uh, uh, reach out to you and uh, have some interview because uh, the way you explain is very good and uh, while uh, looking into the comments people are really happy they are really getting a lot yeah. from your video and uh, yeah. really thank you the audience for are like it yeah amazing free content to the people yeah yeah okay uh, so ravi one more question regarding certifications so how you hmm. think uh, certifications are important in the career of service now or the people who are learning service now see so uh, if i if ask me personally i am not fan of certifications knowledge matters because in certifications right. they will just give you few questions which you can easily get answers from outside and you can give the examination certification does not matter at all but if you talk about the clients some european mm-hmm. clients are there some uh, australian clients are there their point is you should have certification in a tool so for that certification is important but personally it's not at all important but if somebody is trying to for a certification if they are part of any organization for them it is easy if they are not part of any organization for them they are they have to pay around 300 some dollars i guess that is a huge amount for service now uh from service now so i think from my suggestion to service now that 300 dollars is too much for them who are just starting their career my I have seen is, training of around 2400 yeah. dollar also when you ask for any yeah. trainer or something so correct correct that is 200 dollars <laughs> it's huge that man that instructs it's instructor based yeah right right so right. 24 dollars for us for a person who just got a job is very difficult so my suggestion is if someone is fresher don't uh, run after the certification go with this excellence of learning service now and once you join the organization any time you can do the certification claim it back to the company that will help you right out. instead of paying okay. 300 euros 300 dollars yeah okay great so as training is on so uh, how people contact you for any kind of training you are providing so basically uh, i am planning to launch a website very soon Okay, but uh, currently I don't have much time to create that. So I started the WhatsApp group recently, three months back, two and a half months back. So we are okay. now it's approaching one k member in that group family. So I call okay. it the family because I started with only one person in the group. Now in two and a half months, it's one k. 
and I used to post the details in the group or in the social media platform, which is LinkedIn. So okay. people can connect me via my LinkedIn profile or uh, through my WhatsApp channel or through YouTube. Uh, they can comment. And in the description, I used to provide this group links and all those. So Link they can contact all. me from there. Okay. So I think uh, these all are the questions, uh, Ravi. But uh, uh, any final advice uh, before we wrap up this interview to the people and any words you want to say? Yeah. So first of all, I wanted to thank you, OP, to bring this platform <laughs> so that we can share the knowledge. Really? Most because uh, if you if you record any video, there's no audience. You will just create a video. You will explain by yourself. But uh, to do face to face and to explain whatever I'm telling you to all the world of service now is important. So what right. my final session is to final session is to the candidates or who is fresher or who is still working. You have 24 hours uh, in a day. Even I am also having 24 hours a day. What you have to do is at least 30 minutes to 45 minutes every day, one hour to service now and you will be master in that. And trust me, people are getting one CR package also outside in service now. Okay. If, okay. if yeah, yeah, I have I have seen uh, two, three person having one CR in service now. So because they are experienced and expertise in service now in all the modules, almost. They are architects. So currently in the market for service now is very good. And I'm not. I'm sure that for the next twenty years, it it will continue because service now is int introducing lot of things every day. If you have seen OP, like Vancouver, Washington, lot of things will be coming up in pipeline. Right, right. So, right. yeah, don't uh, listen to anyone who is saying it's a tool. It's way beyond mm -hmm. the tool now, really. Right. And you can do lot of stuff. So I started my career and I started from very low, and I reached at. Uh, good position because of this service now only. So I know how much effort is needed earlier, but now the effort is very less. You just have to stick to the content, stick to the uh, real-time scenarios. That's it. Okay. 30 okay. minutes a day to service now. Uh, so I just want to uh, tell all the people who are listening about uh, in this interview that uh, service now has the capability to provide name, fame, and huge money. But the only key is continuity. As mentioned by Ravi, yeah. you have to give at least 30 minutes daily and think out of the box. So this is one of the key moments which uh, you can think and which you can uh, like uh, get from people like Ravi, all the experts. So Ravi, um, thank you so much for giving this interview. And I'm so happy to have you as a first guest. Let's get this community going and achieve great heights. Thank you so much, Ravi, and all the very best for all your future endeavors and trainings. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thanks, Ravi. Thanks to you. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is our very first expert, Mr. Ravi Gaurav. I hope you understand each and every point and you get enough from this interview. Like Ravi, we have many more experts and we try to bring all such experts and share their knowledge, their experience with all of you. With this note, I would say just subscribe to the channel because a lot and lot is coming. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.